Upper Providence community, welcome to another edition of Believe and Succeed. This is our school video newsletter that is designed and made for by our students. Hi, my name is Sid. Welcome to the second edition of Student Council's newsletter. Stay tuned for interviews, news, and future happenings in our school. Hope you enjoy the show. I am Adith Kadiala from Mr. Nice's class. I talked to Ms. Mrs. Lair. I talked to Mrs. Lair um, a few days ago about the UPE pond. Here's what's going at the at the courtyard pond. There are a lot of goldfish green frogs at the pond. There are about 30 fish in the pond. None of them have names. Also, none of them have to be fed. Ms. Lair said that there is about 2,300 gallons of water in the pond. She also told me that we'll have tomatoes, garlic, peas potatoes and carrots at, and watermelon this spring. The shed in the pond is used to hold learning and gardening supplies. The names on the bricks were because we did a fundraiser. That's all for now. Hi, I'm Arul. Thanks for tuning in to Who's Who at UPE. With me today is Mr. Berge. Hey. So, what is your role at UPE? Uh, at UPE, I'm a second grade teacher and free throw champion. Okay. So, how long have you worked here? Uh, this is my sixth year at UPE. Uh, I spent 10 years before that at Roars Ford Elementary, which I believe you were at before you got here to UPE. Yeah. So, that's interesting. So, what are some of the most interesting parts of your work? Um, I enjoy um, working with students who are really curious and hardworking, such as yourself, uh, but I also like building curiosity in young students in second grade. It's a lot of fun to get them interested in something and see students that really sometimes don't like coming to school really want to come to school and do their schoolwork and, and learn new things and, and build their skills. Yes. So that's a lot of fun. Yes, I mean, interesting. So what do you like most about UB? Uh, I like the family atmosphere here. I think Dr. Paskey has really built a community of learners. Uh, we also have people that uh, are really friendly and nice and, and get along really well, so I appreciate that. Okay. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? Well, I really enjoy playing basketball. Uh, I like playing golf with my brothers. Uh, I also enjoy word games like Scrabble and Words with Friends. Uh, Mrs. Corvetti and I are in an epic battle right now. Uh, she actually beat me the last time, so I'm looking to, to get some revenge on her. So, uh, But other than that, I like to spend time with family and friends. Okay, okay. that's great. Thanks for tuning in to Who's Who at UP. Thanks, Mr. Kirby. Thanks, sir. Hello, my name is John from Mr. Nice's class, and I'm here to report on the third grade holiday concert happening today. The concert will take place at school at 2.45 and again in the evening for families at 7 p.m. Miss Kinney has put together a very nice show. Let's ask third grader Arhan what he's looking forward to. 
Hi, Arhan. Are you excited for today's concert? Yes, John. This will be a great show. What is your favorite song to sing? Nice Not Naughty. What do you think the families are going to like? All the kids singing the awesome song. Thanks for sharing with us today. You're welcome. That's all for now. Best of luck if they're great. Enjoy the show. I'm Devin Kahn, and I'm here to report on the 76ers' visit to UPE on December 20th. Players Amir Johnson and Joel Embiid visited to spread the message of teamwork. There were cheerleaders, dancers, and Franklin the mascot who entertained the students. There was even a foul shot contest with Mr. West and Amir Johnson. The kids were amazed. It was all a very fabulous surprise. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? I'm nice. Um, my name is Shanika from Mr. Mouse's class. We've met before. Hi, Shanika. <laughs> what is your role at UPE? I teach fourth grade at UPE, and I also help run a program called the Magic Mailbox. It's kind of famous. Maybe you've heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you worked here? Oh, my goodness. Um, since the building opened, which was... 2003, I believe, so maybe you can do that math, right? Yeah. What are some of the most interesting things at UP? Um, let's see, the most interesting things. I really like the people who work here. I think all of the teachers are really interesting and fun to get to know. Um, I think we do some really cool programs here. The, uh, the assemblies are really fun. Do you like those? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like most about UPE? Hmm, I think it has to be the students. There's so many really nice kids here and I, I look forward to seeing them every day and learning about them and learning their names and teaching science and doing all kinds of stuff. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? Hmm, outside of school. Well, I, uh, I ride my bike a lot and um, I have some teachers here who are very close friends, so we will hang out with each other and go see movies and stuff, like Mr. Mounts and Mr. Culp and Mr. Pence, Mr. Keel, pretty much everybody. And, um, and, and I have um, two of my kids go to this school, so I will spend a lot of my free time playing with my sons, and we like to go on bike rides or play soccer in the yard or something like that. Thank you, Mr. Nice, for answering my questions. Thank you for having me. This was wonderful.
Jennifer with Mr. Nice's class, and I'm here with Mrs. Felderman. Um, what is your what is your role at UP? Well, I was hired in as a cafeteria manager, and I I'll provide meals, healthy meals to the students, and nice meals to the teachers. Okay. How long have you worked here? I worked here less than a year. I was at a school district for 14 years and uh, then I was hired here, I was, and I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> what are some of the most interesting parts of your work? Well, definitely interacting with the students, because I get to ask them about their families, and Christmas and holidays, even by Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> so just being with the children, the students. What do you like most about UP? I like that, I, I was scared, because when I came here, like, I haven't been here long, but it's a family, and everybody helps you if you need anything. They all help you, and everybody's very friendly. Yeah. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? Well, I hate to admit this, but I love, love, love jewelry. So I work at a jeweler on Saturdays. And then, of course, I love spending time with my family and, and cooking a little bit. Thank you for being here and answering all my questions. Oh, Jenna, thank you for interviewing me. It was fun. Anytime. room and let's peek in and see what they're doing. Student Council. And my name is Brett Fitzgerald. We are here to give you some facts about tornadoes. We learned that there are no tornadoes near us. We learned that tornadoes go 300 miles per hour. And if you look like right behind me, this is what one looks like. Tornadoes can last up to 10 minutes. Most tornadoes form from thunderstorms. The air needs to be moist from the Gulf of Mexico and the cool and dry air needs to be from Canada. If a tornado hits, you would hide in your basement or in, or in a bathroom if you don't have a basement. Tornadoes are really neat to study. We hope you learned some cool facts. Thank you for, thanks for listening. Whenever you're ready. Hi, my name is Lorelai and I'm here to interview Mr. Rhodes. Hi, everybody. What is your role at UP? Well, I have been a fourth grade teacher here for quite some time. How long have you worked here? 15 years, since 2003, since the school's inception. What are some of your most interesting parts of your work? Well, obviously I'm here to work with kids because kids are the best part of this job. Um, and just getting the chance to 
build projects with kids and get them to think outside of the box is, is a lot of fun. Just seeing kids grow and learn. What do you like most about UP? Well, it would be a combination of the teachers and the faculty and all the kids here. Um, it's a great place to work. Everybody's really positive and supportive. And just seeing kids learn and grow is, is really awesome. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? I love to play with my kids and spend time with my family. We like to go snowboarding, uh, I like to play guitar, and I love listening to music. Okay, uh, hi, my name is David from Mr. Forge's fourth grade class. In second grade, the children have learned about Helen Keller uh, and how much an inspiration she was to everyone. Uh, the solar system is an exciting topic they are going to be exploring soon. Cursive writing is also around the corner. Culp's class and I'm interviewing Mr. West. What is your role at UP? Well hello Kira, thank you for interviewing me. My role at Upper Providence is I am the physical education slash gym teacher uh, here at Upper Providence Elementary and I teach all grades, kindergarten all the way through fourth grade. Um, how long have you worked here? I worked at Upper Providence. This will be my 11th year this year. What, what are some of the most interesting parts of your work? I would say some of the most interesting parts of my work are that I get to actually have gym class every single day, every period of the day. So when kids come to gym class or like music, art, I have, it would be like having gym every day, all day. And that's very interesting and fun every day. What do you like most about UP? Uh, I like most, I just like the entire school community, all the teachers, all the students. Uh, the teachers work well, very well together, and the students are like all great kids who, no matter what they do, they put in 100% effort. And I just, that's what I like most about UPE. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? Well, I think what I like doing the most is obviously washing my hands. I like to do that the most. But other than that, I like to um, hang out with my family, um, work out, and I like to watch sports, especially the Eagles. Go Eagles. Thank you for being a gym teacher at UP. Well, thank you, Kira, for being a student at UP. My name is Savannah from Mr. Mance's class, and I'm here to do an update on what's happening at UPE grades 1 and 3. In third grade, students are enjoying creation station, assemblies, and the Winter Olympic reports. Kids get excited playing math games. Kids think that Mr. Slichter is silly and the best teacher ever. In first grade, students love gym and recess the most. They get real excited to, go, to do Go Noodle, Sparkle, Extra Recess, Reading with the Dogs, and Buddy Classes activities. Mr. Hedrick said kids would describe him as silly and a trickster. Thanks for tuning in! Hi, we're outside third grade's classroom. Let's peek in and see what they're up to. Uh, my role here is to uh, support staff and uh, the students and make sure the building's running and safe and we get everything here we need. 
How long have you worked here? I'm going on my 20th year. Wow. <laughs> it's been a fun ride. What are some of the most interesting parts of your work? Um, the most interesting part is watching the kids go through the grade levels and, uh, you know, as you get older and you go, you know, up into the other grades, then you come back and support us also. What do you like most about UPE? Well, pretty much the same thing, like I said, just watching you guys get through the grade levels and have fun and learn and get through. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? Um, I enjoy fishing and uh, spending time with my grandkids. Thank you for working at UPE. You're welcome. Thank you. take a sneak peek inside a kindergarten. They're getting ready to go home for the day. a fourth grade classroom and we're going to look at the mosaic project. from Mr. Meltzer's class. I interviewed Mr. Talley from ba for basketball. He said that his team scores about 55 or 56 points a game. He also said practicing basketball is like the basics of dribbling, passing, and shooting is the most important, is one of the most important skills. The most important skill is competitiveness, he said. He has been playing basketball for 30 years too. Chase reporting from the fourth grade student council. I'm here reporting on the fourth grade play. Uh, it will take place on May 16th at school and at 7 p.m. Students will be singing baseball types of songs and about being on All Star. The play is called It's a Hit. Fourth grade looks forward to performing for you this spring. What is your role at UPE? I am the school principal at Upper Providence. How long have you worked here? I've worked here for over 15 years. What are some of the most interesting parts of your work? I love meeting new families and working with our children. I like to hear about projects, research, books they're reading, and travels that they get to go on. What do you like most about UPE? I love the kids, the parents, and the staff. Uh, the people here just make it so wonderful to work here. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? Outside of school, I really like spending time with my family. I like to walk my dog. I like to learn and read, and I love travel. Thank you for joining us when we're interviewing Dr. Kelsey. from
from Miss LaForge's class. I'm here to report on the Student and Council Staff Appreciation Project. First, we made the holiday video wishing all our staff well. And that next, we made a lots of of time. We spent lots of time creating awards. We created these awards. The Golden Paintbrush, Busy Bee, You Before Me, Kid Friendly, Toontastic, Speechtastic, The Big Heart, You Got Those Brains, Tech by Day, Actor by Night, Helping Hands, The Gratitude Award, All Star Award, Fallon Award, and The Golden Giver. The awards were presented at the school-wide meeting on January 19th as part of the Great Kindness Challenge. We appreciate our staff and hope they enjoyed their awards. Thank you for listening and watching. I'm Sid, signing off live. Enjoy your day and remember to be kind. Thank you. Three. Believe and succeed! basketball I watched uh, I fell in love with Kobe and the Lakers so that's how that's how I basically started playing basketball and I was a Laker fan what, what would you want to be what would you want to do if you weren't a basketball player in life if I wasn't a basketball player, uh, growing up, I, I've always wanted to be president of my country. Uh, astronaut, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I guess. Addison, step forward, step forward. Uh, how young were you when you first started playing basketball? I was 16 years old when I started playing basketball. I'm 43. You do get tired, but uh, you want to win. And as players, like we are competitive, and we want to win. So in that moment, you don't really think about being tired. You just want to play and win the game. So you get tired, but you don't really think about it. What was the toughest player you've ever played against? The toughest player I've ever played against is probably. Um, I don't know. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins is pretty tough to play against, and uh, he's a pretty good player, and I love playing against him. I'm surprised you didn't say Mr. West. I think he scored 41 at the, at the local Y. <laughs> Mr. West right there, he scored 41 at the local Y, MCA. All right, Joel, you can let you leave. I just got one question for you. Since we're a teacher, and we're, I'm a teacher at uh, school here, but was there a teacher that was influential to you, you, you know, and why? Or is there someone who, you know, one of your favorite teachers, what, what qualities have they had? Um, I think all my teachers are, are they've, they've been, uh, you know, I love, the thing about me is that I love when people are hard on me. So when I'm not doing a good job, or when I was in school, when I didn't have good notes, I love when like, people tell me what I should do and uh, what I shouldn't do. So I think, um, I mean, there's not especially one, but you know, all, all the people around me, especially my, my teachers, they've all been um, hard on me, so I think it's helped me a lot. Well, we're not gonna be hard on you now. We appreciate you coming here, Joel. Big round of applause for Joel.